let's be honest, most PowerPoint presentations suck. They're not that great. They're too complex, highly distracting, and to be really frank, they're ugly. In today's short training, what I wanna share with you is some simple tips on how to make your presentations pop. I wanna share with you the presentation pop method. It will help your presentations look elegant, look beautiful, and be highly engaging and support what you have to say instead of distracting from what you have to say. So let's have a chat about that. Okay, so I think there's four types of ways that you can build presentations. Now, if you think about from a spectrum from amateur to professional, right? Let's say you've got amateur and professional and from slow to fast. Now, if we have a look at this spectrum and we were, we were to consider, hey, if you do an amateur version of a PowerPoint presentation and it's slow, I would say the presentation is a flop, right? It's gonna be a flop. Now, if you produce it slowly, but it's professional, then I think that's just a pain in the behind. I think it's, it's a plop, right? We're gonna call it plop. If you do it fast and it's amateur, then really what you're producing is, is slop. Now, the goal of this video here is to show you how to produce something fast and professional, which is about pop. So let me show you pop. So the first big idea around how to make your presentations pop is to think simple, not complex. When the goal of a presentation or, or a PowerPoint presentation is to reinforce what you're saying, not to say what you're saying. So what I mean by that is a lot of people see the PowerPoint as the presentation. But when you think about it, people don't come to see your PowerPoint slides, they come to see you. So in fact, you are the presentation, not the PowerPoint. So from the conceptual design of, of creating a PowerPoint, think of it from a simple perspective. So the first idea is simplify. Now what I mean by that is stay away from, you know, having five to 10 bullet points on one slide. Stay away from really small fonts. I would encourage you to, you know, have fonts over 30. Uh, it would be to have maybe one concept, one concept or up to three concepts per slide. Have an, have an image, one big image that actually presents or represents or reinforces what you're trying to say rather than saying the exact same thing of what you're saying where people read out from the PowerPoint. No one here, no one has come to see you read to them, right? That finished at play school, which my two-year-old does. People have come to hear you talk to them. So have a PowerPoint that is simple, elegant, and reinforces what you have to say, doesn't say what you have to say. The second key point I think around making presentations pop is to go premium. What I mean by this is, you know, stay away from the really cheap things like clip art or free images. I would recommend you spending one or two dollars on an image and actually finding a premium, uh, you know, royalty free, beautiful image because if you can find a beautiful image that reinforces what you have to say it will add a layer of, of elegance and sophistication to your presentation so please stay away from clip art leave clip art back in the 90s when it was created and let's step up into some sort of premium uh, image now I, I will leave a list of various uh, websites that you can buy cheap premium images from uh, below the video, so you can grab them there as a bit of a resource. So that's tip number two, is go premium. Tip number three is I think uh, you should invest in buying a nice template. What I mean by that, you've got two choices. You can either hire a designer to design a template for you, because what this does is this makes your presentation building fast rather than slow. So instead of um, you know, creating something that is really nice slowly, you create it really nice fast. Um, so either you can go the designer uh, way, which is the way that I usually go because I want to create uh, unique uh, looks and feels that no one else has, or you can jump onto one of the more premium template websites, and there's, I'll leave a bunch of them below the video, 
that you can just purchase them for you know around 30 to 50 up to hundred dollars for a really beautiful presentation template that you can then work with put your premium images on put some simple concepts on there and it will reinforce added a, just a beautiful layer of elegance to what you have to say and it will make your presentation pop so thanks for listening today i trust it's been valuable i've got one question for you What's the hardest part about building a PowerPoint presentation for you? If you could write in the comments below, what, what do you find to be the hardest part about building a PowerPoint presentation? And if you could, could you please like it and tweet it? Now, if you're on YouTube, please subscribe. Or if, if you wanna to subscribe to my email, you can, there's an area below that you can sub subscribe and receive these e each weekly. So hey, it's been a privilege to have this conversation with you. I trust it's been valuable and we'll speak to you soon. and highly detailed information in there as the train comes along. Premium is, in terms of the images, as the train comes along again,